Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome to a very unexpected Let's Build. And the first thing you're probably going to be wondering is, Borderwise, weren't you building an aircraft carrier? What happened with that? What's, what's this weird thing that's happening? And I'm not going to fib to you, um, ladies and gentlemen. I ran out of time and energy. I've, um... Basically, I don't know, this is like, this is going to sound a lot like making excuses, but it's just kind of how it is. Um, my sleeping cycle's gotten ruined again. I've been just generally tired throughout the whole day. And my time has also kind of been uh, limited uh, lately. Like, things keep interrupting my schedule. And so, just, um, I have not been in a good um, position to record, like, the like the long videos that I would want to do for that aircraft carrier. Uh, let's build. So, yeah, that that's basically uh, the gist of it, is that... Like, but because uh, the last time I did that, it was two hours long, and no one seemed to mind it being two hours long, so I thought, okay, we'll do another two-hour one of those, and I just ran out of time of the day. Uh, other things, just a combination of other things demanded my attention and me being kind of tired from those things, and I didn't feel up to it. And I've learned the hard way to not record uh, when you feel like crap, because the end result it just is just not good. The video is not good, and you have to do it again anyway. So yeah, that's that, and so... um what this let's build is, and you've probably already guessed from the title, this is an example of what I kind of do when I just want to build, and I want to kind of be meditative about it, when I'm just not caring whether the end result is good, I'm just mucking about and seeing things, and um, yeah, you'll notice I'm actually making, I make a few mistakes, uh, uh, like I think, yeah, right here, is that I'm actually placing these blocks uh, on the turret block, not on the hull, so, like, uh, it's, uh, it gives, should give you an indication of just how tired and out of it I was. I just was not thinking clearly. But yeah, so this is the uh, basic, this is basically a flying wooden cram canoe. And, um, with bonus, uh, breadboard because I need to practice that. I just, I literally learned how to do that just the other day in the last live stream. Uh, thanks again to everybody who helped me, uh, uh learn how to bread, um, on that stream because I would... Probably never have learned how if it wasn't uh, for you guys um, helping me in chat and just like not even just helping, just motivating me. It just wouldn't have happened. But yeah, so um, I think everybody kind of who plays from the depths that kind of needs their uh, their default relaxed build. It's just something you fart out um, just when you genuinely want to have fun with the game and you don't care about the meta or making things pretty or just like anything you're just you know what i'm gonna have fun now and i'm going to build the thing i find fun fun to build and in my case it's canoes and there's a bunch of other fun things in here that uh, i always find fun to do and um these pancake turrets are i think they are a central part of my style now because they're just i don't know i just love building them they're just I don't know, it's just satisfying uh, to me. They're more fun to look at than just, you know, something more square. And um, I probably should learn how to do, like, I guess, more realistic uh, looking turret caps. Like what you'd find on an actual um, real-life vessel. But I'm not in any rush. Uh, that'll happen when it happens. So yeah, there's that. And of course, the fact is canoe. I actually stagger the slopes on this one a little bit differently from what I usually do. And because I didn't want it to be too long, I didn't, and I also didn't want it to look stubby. Because uh, when you're making a small canoe, uh, when you use like smaller slope blocks, so sometimes it just, I don't know, looks less canoe and more cigar, and uh, not quite what I was wanting to do. But yeah, so this is, as you can probably already guess, this is not a serious build. Like the fact it's made entirely out of wood is enough of a hint of that. Like. Pretty much, there's li very little reason to make a craft entirely out of wood, unless you're wanting them to be like cheap throwaway craft and you don't actually care if they get damaged or blown up or destroyed. And um, so, yeah, that's basically what this is. This is just a fun thing. And um, because, like, as much as like wood isn't super good in a meta sense as a building material, like uh, the split second that you get real firepower thrown at you is just almost any other structural material is better like uh for for, for uh, buoyancy and um uh, alloy is better for durability metal is better and um stone is like a better material as well 
but yeah, wood is just, it's cheap. That's its uh, main purpose. And spore liner, I can't forget that. And you'll see here I'm doing my usual, like, alternating slope straight uh, stagger for canoes, and then I check the length of the thing, and I realize, yeah, it's too long. It's too long, I'm not a fan. And so instead, I do uh, try something else, so just basically gradually uh, dropping down uh, the slopes, and you'll immediately note this uh, makes it look a lot more like a regular uh, ship uh, uh, prow, just like that kind of uh, slope decrease. <laughs> Excuse me. But I didn't want that either because, uh, gosh darn it, sometimes you are in the mood for a canoe. And so instead what I do is this kind of single straight uh, double slope. And that kind of got me the length and uh, the look that I wanted. I don't actually end up rolling with this, I believe. Yeah, that's what, it, that's what I end up doing. Nope, that's not what I end up doing. I'm uh, recording this uh, post-commentary like the day after. Um... I recorded this, so I don't... It's the usual case, it's just I don't completely remember the order in which I did things. Uh, hopefully it comes back to me as we go. You can see... jeez. Uh, I always do this in building, like I do a thing, um, change my mind, uh, change it, and then I do the first thing again, because I'm just like, actually, yeah, I did like that better. Um, less engineering and more uh, artsy, I guess, a way of building. But yeah, it's just, um, I used to think of myself as a very slow builder, and it's just, I don't know, it's one of those things you just practice, um, in, uh, games like From the Depths. It's just, you get, you, after a while, you just, re you just know how things go, and you just kind of fart out a thing that may be effective and might not be. But yeah, it's just, um, once you get the hang of it, away it goes. Man, I'm reminiscing now against, um, it's just in my head, not out loud, you would know it if it was out loud. Um, about the building, uh, three craft and three sizes video I did. I love doing that video, that was so much fun. Like, if you haven't seen that, go watch it, and then, uh, give it a try yourself. It's just like, buy, uh, buy, uh, build, um, three craft, ba build basically the same kind of craft, but, uh, uh, small, medium, and large. It's super fun, great learning experience uh, for From the Depths. So yeah, and see what you did here is that I'm being kind of um, uh, super lazy, trying to be time efficient because I've already kind of blown it. This was meant to be short, and um, of course, like it went slightly longer uh, than I meant it to, to meant it to go. But yeah, kind of pulled it out in the end. So yeah, it's just um, prefabs are your best friend when building anything above uh, a certain size. It's just you have a patch of hull and then you copy that and then you just um, you just you know copy paste it all over the place. And um, whatever your default hull shape is, um, it should probably um, have repeating patterns like that simply for the simply for the sake of convenience. Because life's short, man. You like. Unless you want uh, to uh, build intricate things from scratch, like there's no real need to, and that's kind of why I—that's my uh, trick for doing hulls right there. Is just uh, the back is roughly the same as the front, so arguably not still not the most time-efficient way to do it because um, the most time-efficient way to make a ship hull in front of the depths is you have a box and you make the front pointy, and that's literally it. And I don't generally don't do that because I just... It's that weird intersection is why I don't consider myself like a full meta builder. And I just realized now I could... Uh, I could have uh, been more block efficient right there. But uh, yeah, it's because I keep uh, doing things that technically are not the most efficient or effective thing to do. Simply because I'm just happier doing it that way. So, you know, that's kind of the point of games like this is you do the things that... Uh, Make you feel good, and then, uh, and then, uh, then you uh, get curb stomped by people who are just frothing at the mouth um, uh, with their meta ness. Uh, yeah, so this is me just uh, like this uh, thing doesn't even have a superstructure. That's another uh, kind of a feature of just my, I guess, traditional, uh, just lazy, lazy style canoe build is just uh, no superstructure whatsoever because it just means that the the hull is very simple as a direct result. And it's just, it's all on the turret, which isn't a terrible way to build, it's just gotta, you gotta make sure that the detection is, um, is properly defended. And I just, uh, completely muck up, well, it's not a complete stuff up, I guess, but, um, 
yeah, I could really do a better job with this tower cap. It does not look super good. So, yeah, that's, um... It's okay, I guess. Not perfect. It's less pancake and more... I don't know. I don't know how you describe this turret because it's a little bit too it's a little bit too tall uh, relative to its width width and length to be like true pancake but um yeah it's like uh, I'm not sure how you character round it's just round it's just round and over here there's where the AI compartment and not being completely crazy there is some stone in here um completely wood things are I don't know they have to be very fast <laughs> I feel um, helps to make him fly. And yes, this is uh, gonna be a, a flying canoe. Because, uh, man, like, uh, just, you know what, like, there's, from the depths, it's just, uh, when in doubt, make the thing fly if it's not working so well. It doesn't, it's not always the best advice if you've already built a gigantic battleship. Um, can be a slight headache to get those to fly, but for a lot of things, you just bolt enough thrusters onto them and then, um, yeah, that they'll fly. <laughs> And then they'll be a lot harder to hit, and they'll be immune to torpedoes, and just, like, you know, just so many more advantages. Yeah, and it's like, I, you, I'm not sure if there's uh, more mistakes than usual in uh, my building process uh, for this um, for this little mini uh, let's build, I guess. But, um, yeah, like, I do stuff up fairly, fairly often. And, like, yeah, right at the beginning, uh, there's uh, blocks on the turret that'll... I mean, it won't be able to turn, so, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. Like I said, like, brain, it's like, you. I've got that brain fuzz. I got that brain fuzz. So, yeah, that's, uh, hopefully not going to be a huge issue later when I actually do record, uh, more of that aircraft carrier build. So, yeah, spoiler alert, like, well, not spoiler alert, I guess, it's just, friendly um, informative thing is that I will be doing that so also there's a breadboard so I mentioned earlier this uh, I saw this as a golden opportunity to practice some bread I'm pretty sure I did it in a really weird way but it seemed to work and so I just rolled with it and uh, yep here's the ammo compartment great thing about being armed with only one cram cannon is that you need basically no ammo at all so this ammo compartment is actually um, a little bit much doesn't even need this much ammo could just stick like two ammo boxes um, at opposite ends of the canoe and like away they go like super material efficient uh, small crams uh, also because they're ineffective against most things I should add so yeah what are, what are, what are you doing here border wise ah that's the engine so this cube shaped thing that is exactly three by three by three is uh, my favorite engine right now. It's just, it's an injector engine, and it's just super convenient to, like, uh, place anywhere, because it is, like, really small, and uh, just compact. And, yeah, but, um, oh, damn it, that reminds me, I need to figure out Steam. Steam! Steam is so annoying. It's just, it's one of those things that, like, I get that people want to learn how to use it, and, like, but I like I have real trouble remembering like what advantages steam has over like literally any other form of power. But I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I digress. So once again, just placing stone around the AI compartment, ruining the space armor on top of it. But honestly, uh, a casual build like this is not like really. You should not worry too much about. Uh, heat and hash, and when the explosive um, damage on heat and hash warheads uh, will tear you to pieces anyway, like just the explosions. So yeah, and here is the uh, interesting choice I make to uh, roll with uh, ion thrusters, because um, I do that basically because I want this thing to be able to get itself out of the water without using balloons, so it's so, um, not the worst idea, it's just you do need a fair amount of ion thrusters in order for this to work. So, yeah, and then, of course, I, another thing I want to do is I always like to muck around with, like, airship wings and just, uh, uh see what actually looks good. Um, and, yeah, looks good rather than is good, because, like, the best, um, uh, positioning for roll control is probably in completely enclosed, so what I'm doing here is deliberately quite silly, and this isn't what I end up going with, by the way, it's just, when in doubt, start with wedges. 
It's like, um, it's like appetizers at a place that specializes in potato. When in doubt, start with wedges. And then, um, actually, like, uh, I was about to say start with wedges and, um, the main course is mash, but Deacon's hell, that's probably too much potato already. As much as I love potato, um, and I do love potato, it's like, um, you can't have just potatoes for a meal. You need to mix other things in there as well. That is potato heresy, and so, um, I apologize to all the people who are believers in potatoes. But, yeah, so, very stubby uh, wings just now. That is the one of the problems with uh, having a narrow craft like this, is that roll control uh, can be a bit problematic, because the thing is like, well, it's too narrow, roll control uh, doesn't have good leverage on it, so to speak. And here's where I'm trying to force my tire brain to think, how do I fit a custom jet in here? And the answer, of course, is ducts, and that's what I end up doing. Teak as hell. Oh no, why am I... Ugh, freaking... I am always tired uh, when I do Let's Builds. I don't... Ugh. It's a horrible coincidence, but that's what keeps happening. Honestly. And it's entirely my fault. It's always when I've... Um, hit my circadian rhythm over the head again. And that's how we do. And, um... What is past me doing here now? Oh. What? 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 Wow. I do not understand. Okay, now this here's where we start mucking around with the wings, because apparently I got distracted, and I'm like, you know what? You know what? Can we make this sexier? And the answer is, yes we can. That's already looking sexier. And then, yeah, what am I doing? What are you doing, little ones? What are you doing? Yeah, there you go. We're going to have nice, slopey wings. Slopey wings. There we go, and it's got a... Jaunty angle on it. it looks like I don't know what that looks like, but it looks like something. And then I decide, yep, pitch control is gonna look exactly like that too. And so we're going to paste it on the back, but oh no, not enough room. Not enough room. Boom, boom, boom. There is not enough room. That meter didn't work out. I just ate a broom. Oh dear. Oh dear. Improv skills are at uh, critical levels of suck. So anyway, like, this is the moment where it's like, yeah, this is me just figuring out how to f just fit that, um, uh, fit that fin on there. Because, like, yeah, these rear fins are pitch control. And once again, not the smartest way to do this. You just, you actually want to, if you want to be really clever, you just hide all... It is entirely possible, and highly recommended, by the way, to just hide all your propulsion and all your uh, vehicle uh, propulsion control um, within the craft itself. It's just, it is such a better move. And there I succeed in making a fin of sorts. And yeah, that's a fin. Fin, fin, fin. Le fin. Instead of to pitch control, and I'm just preemptively uh, setting this to just... Um, now put level of one, uh, because you can always scale that up again later, and later on I do exactly that thing. And here's where the jet engines um, kind of get made, which are perilously close to the ammo compartment, so just as well this isn't a serious build, I'm going to keep milking that excuse <laughs> until the cows come home. Yeah, and sorry this isn't a camo, uh, because wood uh, does not work uh, with camo patterns. I guess I could have uh, painted it white and um, just uh, just uh, put black splotches all over it, and then it would look like uh, what's that breed of cow called again? A Hereford? I don't I don't remember. The dairy cow, that dairy cow which everyone knows about, except if you don't know cows. In which case, uh, the Camus joke will not be funny to you. You'll just be like, "What is a what? What? I don't get it. That that's not how you say canoe. What?" So yeah, and um, I finally figured out how the freaking ducted air intakes work um, for custom jet engines, uh, particularly the small ones. I remember, I don't remember when it was, but, uh, oh, excuse me, oh no, oh no, 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 no. I have had two cups of coffee and a Coke Zero, and I'm still sleepy. I don't know, I don't even know. 
And that does not work because that's not. I find out later that doesn't work. But yeah, so, um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, custom jets. So I do remember that there was a kind of a, a failed let's build, a kind of cram bomber. And uh, that I was trying to get these custom jet thingies to work with, and it just wasn't working that well. And that's where I remember that uh, the exhaust doesn't need to attach anything to it, so it can go in there, and that's all good. And custom jets, the custom jets are fantastic. Like, honestly, if you've got room for a custom jet in your craft, they're just so good. Particularly if you're like me and you build like uh, things that are quite long and narrow, it can be hard to j stick enough thrusters on the back of them to uh, uh, make them work, so to speak. But uh, yeah, I'm already like thinking like if I ever do a a, uh, a like you know a Devil Cat Mark II, which is the first. Uh, I believe it's the first craft I've uh, finished, like, on stream. Um, yeah, if I ever do one of those, I'll definitely... I'll be uh, doing it differently than the first one, that's for sure. Because I think I've gotten better at the whole custom jet thing ever since then. We'll probably use custom jets to fly. And, uh, yeah. Uh, what are we doing here? We're just working all this out. We're just placing all the stuff. And this is where I just uh, prefab the thing. And, um... And essentially flip it upside down. So, there. I really hope that I remembered uh, to place the exhaust for this one. I might have forgotten to do that. Might have forgotten to do that. I forgot to do that completely. I just realized I completely forgot to do Did I forget to do that? Come on, Borderwise. Come on, you looking right at it. Did you forget? I forgot. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> no wonder this thing wasn't going as fast as expected. I just completely forgot to put the exhaust for that. Um, wait, no. Did I forget? Did I forget? Oh, wow. Oh, no. Guys, send help. Send coffee. Oh, Deacon's Christmas. Oh, mmm. I might need more of a break from doing anything, because, oh boy, oh boy, that was, that was bad. I'm now thrilled that I did not do the aircraft carrier. Like, I might just have to take a break from uh, lengthy videos and start doing just short ones, because, oh my giddy Aunt Fanny, that was, <laughs> that's embarrassing. It's literally looking... Right at the damn thing. And I still didn't spot it. So anyway, AI behavior. You can see I poked at the breadboard. I'm just making sure that the breadboard's controlling uh, the orientation of the craft. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Someone's texting me. Who's texting me? Why are they texting me? Can, I not, can they not tell that I'm in the throes of despair? Oh, God, it's another thing distracting me from YouTube. Oh, bloody Nora. Well, crap. <sighs> yep, yep, short videos it is for the next while, I think. I think I lied about the aircraft carrier thing. I think I'm going to need a day where I'm more awake. Oh, dear. But in any case, uh, at least I uh, know how to do PIDs in a breadboard now. I think. Seems to work. So anyway, yeah, with the pitch and roll, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, I just could not get them to work um, the way they're supposed to. You're meant to put the variable uh, into, like, um, you know, you're meant to put the variable in the one thing and the, uh, and the constant in the other, and, like, it only worked when I swapped them around, so... Yeah, that's uh, in previous testing. So we go here, and we go there, and now the pitch is being controlled, and then you need to muck around with the other things as well. So yeah, it's like, um, to everybody who uh, says to me, like, Oh, well, you, you figured out breadboard. Was that so hard? It's like, yes, it was hard. I only managed to figure it out, essentially, through using resources that are not available to the average person. Um... But basically live streaming for two hours of uh, mucking around with it and having chat tell me how to do things. So, not easy. Manageable. Like, not impossible. But still not easy. 
Anyone who says that breadboard is easy is somehow has probably hit their head and I don't know. They either knew how breadboards worked before they even touched it in from the depths, or they have conveniently forgotten, um, like, the trauma <laughs> of learning it all for themselves. So, and like, if you looked up tutorials on how to do it, that's like exactly the point. If you have to look up tutorials to do something, it is by almost definition not easy. Because it means you don't, you either are unable or, you know, it means you're unable to do it by yourself. So, so chew on that. I hope it's delicious. And this is where I completely forget just how altitude works. And I'm like, why is this thing flying higher? And it's because, you know, you need to set the altitude in the bread wall properly, guys. And uh, here's where I'm confused that the thing doesn't go as fast as I thought it would. Um... And just, uh, I'm gonna have to go back now and fix that exhaust, because ye freaking gods, like, this thing's only using half of its custom jets. Like, literally half. One of them doesn't even work. And, uh, yeah, what else can be said here? Like, this is my meditation build, like, uh, like, it's not supposed to really be super good, but it was a lot worse thanks to me. Thanks to me being, I don't even know, just super tired. Super tired and just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm using that phrase a lot, I don't know, because I generally don't. Oh boy. I'm just running around mucking things and it's like, oh yeah, remember that? So, with altitude, the variable and the constant, like, go like in the slots that, you know, logically make sense for them. But for pitch and roll, for some reason, uh, when I do it, it just, you know, it doesn't work so well. If you don't understand breadboards, don't worry too much about what I'm blathering on about, because it is breadboard stuff, and there's no need to panic. <sighs> okay. If I ever do a breadboard tutorial, which is slightly more likely now that it was, I think on the thumbnail it's going to be in big red letters, DO NOT PANIC. Because, um, yeah, don't panic is step one. It's like when you're being threatened by a bear. Don't panic. And you know that because breadboard and bear starts with the same letters. True story. Not sure if you knew that. I should really put fins on the front of this thing. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious and cool. Oh my goodness. Yep, control seat time. Rambot needs a set. A set. Leave the H out of that word. So yeah... Always, like, always is good. Like, I do wonder sometimes just, like, the prefabs that people have set up. I'm like, of course, this is where I learn uh, that the turret can't actually turn uh, because it's locked in place. I'm like, huh? What's going on there? And then I realize, oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. I'm not sure how what accent that was. Anyway, so, um, yeah, it's just, like, a whole bunch of blocks um, they were attached to the turret and really should not have been. So there, now we're gonna check whether that actually works. And it does not. I think it doesn't. Yep. It's like, oh, bugger, I've done it there as well. I've done it there as well! So there's, a, well, I don't know. Sometimes people, um, when I'm sleep drunk, sometimes I create amazing things. Uh, but not this time. This time I'm like, oh, you freaking dummy. You weirdo. You absolute dingleberry, look what you've done. Look what you have done. Look what you have wrought. You have wrought stupidity. Oh, lordy. Okay. So now the turret works, and that's a good thing. I really need to go to bed early. I need to go to bed early, fall asleep early, and just do things. I'm too old to stay up late. Like, alright. I'm 29. I know that's not that old. There are there are people watching this right now who are way older than that, and they've just got that look on their faces like, Really? You, th you think you're suffering now? Just you wait. It's all downhill from here. That's not strictly true. Some, uh... Some old people are just awesome, and they just do things amazingly. And here's where I find out I don't have enough roll control. And so this is why 
Uh, it's good to okay decide against doing that because even if this thing uh, ends up underwater, I want to, to maintain its orientation. So testing that now, and that works quite a bit better. Except now the pitch control is uh, insufficient. So same thing with the pitch. Great thing about um, injector engines is that they have a lot of power. And it doesn't matter if you don't use all of it, because they still use less materials that way. So, yeah. Yep, so I deem that sufficient unto the day. And this is where I finally remember to save this thing. So, yeah. It's like, um... The, what an epic canoe this is. What an epic pancake bread canoe. Like... It's even colored like bread, so I guess uh, that's why I called it... What did I call this thing? I called it... Called it Hover Bread Canoe. Alright, yeah. Yep, that's what I would have called it. That's a very me move. And, uh, I do... Yeah, I slap extra pitch control on it. Just there. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. Jobly. Thing does move backwards a little bit, but you know what? That's fine. Still can't believe I forgot to put an exhaust on that custom jet engine. What a goof! And uh, here is also an extra dose of humble pie uh, when the Marauder beats this thing handily. Well, not handily, it blows the tail off. And that's a miss. Also, I forgot to put, um, well, I didn't forget, I just didn't bother putting any, uh, I didn't put fuses on the cram cannon, and I didn't, um, and I didn't put any, uh, pa uh what do you, hell do you call them, payload packers on them either. So yeah, this thing's going 53 meters per second, and it's only using half of its custom jet, so, at least to its full potential. And that is, uh... Well, it just blew off all the all the steering as well, so that's annoying. So yeah, definitely still work needs to be done on this thing if I can possibly be bothered. I might just go and hibernate uh, for a little bit of time. But yeah, that's basically it. That's um, an example of like kind of my meditative build and how I just just the kind of thing I I build in my off time when I just want to relax. So yeah. Uh, on that merry note, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. Thank you. Well, there's, there's neat perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Let's build. Farewell.